second graders. Today is our last SCASA lesson. So before we begin, let's go ahead and do a little bit of review. So in our last lesson, we talked about harmful substances. So what should you do, Wagner and class, if you smell a strong chemical in or around your home? What should you do? Well, Miss Sarah, you should leave the room till an adult and do not touch anything. That's right, Wagner. Did you want to join us for our lesson today? I sure do. Hi, everybody. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about a riddle my friend Carmen told me. I can't figure it out. What did she tell you, Wagner? Well, I asked her how I can be healthy and strong like the older players in my hockey league. Carmen loves to tell jokes and make riddles. She gave me the answer, but it was a riddle. Carmen said to grow up healthy and strong. I need a salad foundation. She said that once and I have a salad foundation, the rest will work out. Hmm, that is a riddle. I like it. So let's talk about it, Wagner. So again, Carmen said to Wagner to grow up healthy and strong, I need a salad foundation. She said that once I have a salad foundation, the rest will work out. So let's look into that a little bit more. I see, Wagner. I think I know what Carmen is trying to tell you. So first, what does it mean to be healthy? Well, things that are good for our bodies, right? Things that make us feel good. That's what it means by healthy, okay? A healthy lifestyle. We wanna make sure we're eating fruits and vegetables, getting enough sleep, enough exercise. That is healthy. So these are healthy foods. So we have fruit and vegetables here. And I think what Carmen was trying to say, Wagner, is healthy foods is what she means by a salad foundation. Healthy foods like the kind you find in a salad give your mind and body energy to play and do well in school. There are so many healthy, wonderful foods to help us grow and be strong. Sometimes it is fun to have a cupcake, ice cream, or a donut, but we won't have the energy we need to play and grow strong if we eat too much of these foods. So here we have um, Garfield sleeping on a comfy pillow, okay? And then we have a nice cozy bed and the moon. So these pictures remind us that it's important to get the proper amount of sleep because that is the healthy thing to do. That's the healthy choice. So. Sleep and rest is what Carmen means by the word rest in her riddle. Healthy activities. So here we have someone running, playing basketball, soccer, dancing, swimming, riding a bike. These are all healthy activities. So Carmen means when she says work out in the riddle, she means exercise, okay? That's what she's saying, Wagner. Just like Wagner, you need to eat healthy food, rest, and exercise to grow up healthy and strong. Okay, class, so now what we're going to do is we're going to help Wagner um, by working together to help him get to the hockey practice at the skating rink before he runs out of energy. Okay, so as I read the scenario cards here, I want you to think carefully about the answers, okay? If you think the choice is healthy, go ahead and put your thumbs up. If you think it's unhealthy, put your thumbs down, okay? So if we get the answer correct, the card will tell us how many paw prints to move. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and start. All right, here we go. First card. It's bedtime. Mavis has to get up early for school, but she hasn't finished her favorite movie. Mavis decides to go to bed. Is this a healthy or unhealthy choice? Remember, healthy thumbs up, unhealthy thumbs thumbs down. Okay? So it's her bedtime, and she has to get up early for school, but she hasn't finished her favorite movie. Mavis decides to go to bed. Is this healthy or unhealthy? All right, it's healthy, right? And it says to move two paw prints. One, two. Okay. All right, let's continue. Hamlet and his friends went to the park to run and play. Hamlet decides to sit on the bench instead of running around with his friends. Is this an unhealthy thing to do or is this a healthy thing to do? This is unhealthy, right? We, we want to make sure that we're getting exercise. We want to make sure that we're having fun with our friends. Good job. So this is unhealthy. So we're going to go ahead and move two spaces. Okay. Remember, we want to get Wagner to his hockey practice. Benny eats all of his dinner, including his vegetables. He has a piece of fruit for dessert. Is this a healthy or unhealthy choice? Thumbs up? <laughs> all right, we got a thumbs up. So we're going to go ahead and move three paw prints. One, two, three. Okay, we're getting closer. There are also cards in here that tell us that Wagner made an unhealthy choice. If I read one of those cards, we will have to move one space towards no energy. Okay, which is up here. Okay, and if we reach him over here, Wagner, who has no energy, then we lose the game. Hamlet and his friends went to the park to run and play. Hamlet decides to sit on the bench instead of running around with his friends. This is the same card that I just read. <laughs> okay, let's try another one. Okay. Fozzie is fussy because he is tired. He decides to lie down on the couch and listen to quiet music before his friends come over. Is this a healthy or unhealthy choice? Healthy, right? Good job. So let's go ahead and move two more paw prints. Winnie chooses water instead of soda. Is this a healthy or unhealthy choice? Water is healthy, right? A lot healthier than soda. Soda's not healthy, okay? So we're going to go ahead and move two more paw prints. Wagner needs to lose a couple of pounds to fit into his winter sweater. He orders the fried fish instead of the grilled fish. <laughs> okay, so this is not a healthy choice, right? So we are here okay we're at the second wagner here he's losing some energy here okay wagner played fetch at the park all afternoon he decided not to rest before going to the movies with mitch he sleeps through the whole show okay it says move one space towards wagner having no energy okay so we're in the middle Wagner, okay? We don't want to reach this Wagner, okay? That means we have no energy for hockey practice. So we're in the middle here, okay? Because unfortunately, Wagner made another unhealthy decision. Okay, let's see here. Chester's goal is to get stronger. He decides to play on the monkey bars during recess. Is this a healthy or unhealthy choice? This is a healthy choice, right? So let's move two more paw prints. One, two, we're almost to Wagner's hockey practice. Teddy has a cold. He decides not to go to a, soccer, 
to his soccer practice so he can rest. Is this the healthy or unhealthy thing to do? Well, guys, when we aren't feeling well, it's important to rest, right? So this is the healthy choice. So let's go ahead and move three paw prints. One, two, three. We're almost there. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more paw prints to go. Roxy knows she will have more energy for the dance recital if she takes a nap. She chooses not to nap. Roxy makes mistakes in her dance routine. Is this choice not to nap in this story healthy or unhealthy? Right, thumbs down. It's unhealthy, right? Okay, napping is important, especially if we're tired, right? So, Good job, let's go ahead and move two more paw prints because that was an unhealthy choice to not nap before her dance recital. Louis needs energy for his big game. Instead of eating a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast, he eats a donut. Donuts are delicious, but they're not the healthiest option, okay? Is this healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy, right? Good job. Let's go ahead and move three more paw prints. One, two, three. All right. It's Sparky's bedtime. He has to get up early for school tomorrow, but he hasn't finished reading his favorite book. He decides to keep reading. Is this healthy or unhealthy? Well, reading's good for you, right? But he has school tomorrow. He shouldn't stay up late reading. So let's go ahead and see this. This is unhealthy, right? Because we got to make sure that we get the proper amount of sleep, right? That's important. So good job. Let's go ahead and move two more paw prints. One, two. We made it. We made it to the hockey practice. Wagner's energy dropped a little bit. He, we're in the middle here, but we didn't get to this Wagner, which is good. Okay, this Wagner has no energy. So thank you guys, thank you class, for helping us uh, reach Wagner's hockey practice. We really appreciate it. So I just wanna say congratulations class. Congratulations to all of you second graders who have completed the eighth SCASA lesson. So you did a great job playing that game. We have reached the end of our two good lessons. I am proud of Wagner and I am proud of you all. We have learned many skills during our lessons and I want you to continue to practice them, okay? So remember, it's important to set goals. It's important to um, stop and think before we make those decisions, right? It's important to be a kind friend who's fun and who's honest. We don't want friends who are mean and that lie, right? And we wanna make sure that if somebody is pressuring us to do something that we know that's unsafe, we wanna make sure we say no. We wanna make sure that we ignore them or tell an adult. Okay, and it's important to remember how to communicate, right? Remember that um, the bone that I showed you last time, our, our previous times, that is to resemble an eye, right? We want to make sure that we're saying, I feel this way because this happened. That's a way to effectively communicate to other people how you feel. We want to make sure that we're only taking medicines that we have permission to take, right? Okay, so remember these skills and use them to grow up happy, healthy, and strong, okay? So thank you so much, guys, and I look forward to seeing you guys next year. If you have any questions, have a trusted adult email us, and we'd love to hear from you, and enjoy the rest of your year, guys. Thanks.